what's going on guys uh i am on the road and i just thought about something that i think i should address um sorry about that let me go ahead and roll these windows up should uh you know uh fighting video games should they actually have a storyline now i was just thinking about mortal kombat you know the 2011 one then i thought about the injustice gods among us and uh, you know the Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat X, and I was thinking, I said they managed to tell a pretty compelling story while also implementing great, you know, fighting mechanics and the reason for the characters to fight and stuff like that. So I'm like, why can't we do that with all games? One of the reasons a lot of fighting video games uh, do seem to go dull after a while, or people don't seem to take advantage of the full roster of characters, is due to the fact that there's a lack of a story or a reason to actually play with the characters and I think that those games did a great job of actually giving a reason for players to even try new characters and I'm thinking to myself just thinking about the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 that was one reason I didn't like the game because of the whole it, it and another thing about that is which which is going to tie into this too is the fact that when it came to the game like the, the lack of story um, the lack of a story messed that up. And then it felt like because that lack of a story, it didn't seem like there was any effort put into the video game. So that's just one thing I wanted to, uh, you know, bring up about that. Uh, Soul Calibur 3 is one of my favorite fighting video games at all time, but the story is stupid. It don't make any sense. You know, there's nothing compelling about it. They say this, and they say that, but it's not like you're actually on a journey with these characters. They, ain't, they don't give you a, a decent reason as to who, to, uh, you know, to play with these characters. But anyways, uh, I'm about to go ahead and go get my car washed, and then when I get done, I'm going to go ahead and continue this video. Anyway, sorry about that. I wanted to go ahead and continue on with what I was saying about, you know, to, uh, you know, fighting video games actually having a more interactive campaign and not just a little arcade mode. That was one of the reasons I did not like Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. This, there was like no story. I mean, how you gonna have a title that says uh, the, the fate of two worlds, but don't explain why these two worlds came together. I think that would have been for a very interesting and compelling story. And then to just sit here and do like the Mortal Kombat Injustice actually happen to where you go from different character perspectives, because they have plenty of characters, uh, uh, and even utilize the whole team thing. They could have implemented that into the campaign too, so that way we can learn how to not only play with certain characters, but also to build an effective team. So I think that was one of the reasons that I did not like the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 again. Like Soul Calibur, it does have a story, but not really an engaging one. Like something I can get behind. Like I'm sitting here playing, I played Soul Calibur, and it's one of my favorite video game series, but I could not tell you what really what the hell the story was. Like in each game, I can't tell you what the hell the story was. All you know is, you know, people have very, they're, there are various reasons and motivations for trying to get, you know, Soul Age, or trying to destroy Soul Age, or trying to, to harness Soul Age, you know. But I, there's like I can't. There's nothing definitive I can sit there and just tell you like what happened. So I think that's kind of a problem with a lot of fighting games too. They have a story, but it isn't really a compelling one. Of course, you got you know games like Blast Blue. Um, it does kind of. They have that. They, they do tell a story, um, but it's not like an interactive story like that for like all the characters. Sure, you might be following one character, or, you know, but it's not like you tell one big story and you get in each character's perspective of that story while allowing, you know, you to utilize them in the, uh, in the fights. So, NetherRealm Studios, y'all did a great job with that. Y'all are the prime example of actually being a bit more creative. Just think about it. Look how far Mortal Kombat has came. Almost all the other games, like most of the first uh, games, you know, it was just campaign and you had to fight through the tower. That was pretty much it. And then here we go now, you know, they actually started implementing a decent story. But then, you know, we have the 2011 edition, Injustice Gods Among Us, 
Mortal Kombat X. They actually told a story. You got to play with all of the characters, saw the story from their perspective. Um, and that, in my eyes, definitely deserves a plus. That was a really great and uh, a great, really creative idea. So, um, there is that. I would love to see it with like Smash Brothers. I mean, they had the adventure mode, but I would love to have just like a decent, and, and yeah, that an adventure mode in Brawl was like the best. I mean, it did tell a story. Uh, somewhat it did tell somewhat of a story um, but I give it kudos for uh, try, trying you know it it did tell a, it did tell it did tell somewhat of a story but I think that's that's just my thoughts when we have fighting video games I want to see stories I want to see you know character interactions give me a reason to fight with these characters give me a reason to know and learn you know about these characters don't just sit here and have like a little arcade thing where you fight like 10 matches and and that's it i think by this time now what, what we have um in the gaming computer the community there, be, there should be no fighting game that's like that anymore there should be none um that's uh i got my naruto ultimate ninja series uh the ultimate ninja storm series i got dragon ball z the budokai series and like those, they tell stories. Um, I would lo love for them to make up like a new story, so that way you can actually play with. You have a reason to play with all the characters because most of the time they're based off the show. Do like get, do like a movie or something. Uh, have it to where you, you know a, a story does pop up. Allow people to just you know get to know the characters by playing through the story because you're forcing them to play with the characters and that's how you that's like a great way of fleshing out characters Cause, come on guys admit it there have been plenty of fighting games where there was like three or four players no it's like half the characters you don't play with you don't have a reason to play with them you don't like, don't like playing with them um even in dead or alive a little bit dead or alive i think did it too with um they kind of forced you to play with certain characters, I think. I think. But uh, ever since I had the Dead or, Dead or Alive 5, and then they locked me out of my own damn game, which did piss me off. Um, um, you know, well, that's neither here nor there. I'm just starting to ramble. Anyway, guys, in the comment section below, let me know what you think about that whole idea. Should fighting games be implemented with an interactive story to where you do see the characters and you do are forced to play with the characters? But it also allows you to get to know the characters and their perspectives while being engaged in a pretty cool and compelling story. And also, I think the fact that they did put a story and such an interactive story into a fighting video game now that it actually means that they're putting forth some damn effort instead of regurgitating the same uh, thing. I like Street Fighter. And I haven't played any of the recent ones except I think four a while back. And I don't think they have a story like that. I think I think it's kind of like a campaign, arcade like tower campaign thing. So I would say that to them too, if they're still doing that, create a story, give us like 20 characters throughout the story to play with, and just that's how that's how you that's how you make it engaging. But anyways, Nick Chase. Sorry.